Hello, Abraham. Hi, How's that trip going, my friend? Great. Yeah. We're doing very well, aren't we? Yeah, we are. This video is called Being a Celebrity Nearly Killed Me. Because when you're on telly, Abraham, a lot of people get jealous. Yeah. You get a lot of haters. Yeah. So, being a celebrity nearly killed me. And I know other celebrities that I'm friends with. And I know big celebrities. And I imagine what they go through. Because people think that because they're on telly, or they're in a film, or they're on the radio, or they're famous, people think they're rich. People think they're powerful. People get jealous, people hurt, people hate. But I'm just like you and me. I'm no different. I've got people, Abraham, that send me fan mail from Canada, from Australia, from all around the world. People send me knickers, underwear, socks, tights. They send me hats, sweets, money. Thank you. And if you want, you can send me some more. Just direct message me and I'll tell you where I live. <laughs> and if you send me enough money, I'll make a film and I'll call it you. And I will take you around the world. But it's not about that, ladies and gentlemen. It's about being a celebrity nearly killed me. Let me go back to the beginning. Are you ready? Abraham, one second. Mm -hmm. Shine, brother Ham, shine. shine, shine so here we go. That is a castle. I am here on the edge of a Spanish highway and I am talking about being a celebrity nearly killing me. And look at their mountains. Fun car, fun car, fun car. Being a celebrity nearly killed me. When I was 15 years old, the BBC, which is the British Broadcasting Company, came to Clapton County High School and interviewed the whole year. And they picked two people from my school, two people from Colbane's. They picked us to be on television. They followed us for a year. They followed us for a whole year. The name was called Perfection Perfection. Um, I can't think of the exact name, it was so long ago. I need to find it. But it's, it, it was a great, great film. It was an hour long, and I was on it, and three other people were. And they followed me for one year, leaving school, finishing, doing my GCSE exams, and then going into work. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I got the sack on television. Over 10 million people watched that, and people wrote to me from all over the world. Models from Ireland, hello. Models from all around the world, writ to me. Because on the program, I filled out a job application form and it had my address on it. So people paused the video, because it was videos in them days. People paused the video and then they wrote to me. And it was great. But my mum died a year before. So I was hurting, I was, I was hurting really bad. I was hurting really bad. And uh, I was hurting really bad. So I was just keeping an eye on Abraham. He was getting out of the car and I thought he was gonna get run over. So basically people wrote to me and I had a good position to be on telly then. Grain Jill, EastEnders, whatever. But me, I messed it all up because, because my mum died. She died, you know, when I was 14. She was ill all my life. I couldn't work it out. I didn't understand. I didn't smoke. I didn't drink. I didn't do anything. I'm pure. I did that later. Anyway, the point is, being a celebrity nearly killed me. I went to prison eight times from the age of 18 to 22. Eight times I went to prison. Only for theft, uh, for handling stolen goods, theft from like big places, not people and driving without insurance. I never really done anything bad, apart from silly things, but I got locked up for it eight times. I didn't care, my mum died, I did not care. And 
When I got to, when I got to 23, I created Danielle with a beautiful lady, Michelle, and I'm Danielle's dad. And Danielle showed me there's more to life than feeling sorry for yourself. So I, st I haven't been to prison in 20 years. Shine on. And uh, and about two years ago, I've done two series of Benefits by the CJ Wick and a Christmas special. And millions of people have seen me again. I should have been on telly ever since then. But because I messed my life up, because I was hurting for my mum and I went to prison eight times, I lost my celebrity lifestyle. But I'm back, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm ready to do better because I want to travel and I want to film it. And I want to bring people on these journeys. And I believe television will love my films. And I believe television will love me because I'm real and I'm genuine and I care about people and I love you all. Even my haters. When you've got haters, you're doing well. You've got to be doing well when you've got haters. Anyway, if anyone wants to offer me a TV job, here I am. I'm available. I'm available for television work as long as you've got morals and it is real. So ladies and gentlemen, being a celebrity nearly killed me. People message you, always wanting you to help them, and I will try my best. I don't, I don't mind. If I can help someone, I will. But ladies and gentlemen, why can't someone help me? Why can't someone give me my job that I want? Why can't someone help me? And so on and so on. Being a celebrity nearly killed me. When millions and millions of people watch you on television, they, they get jealous of you, they start to hate you. But please, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just a normal person, just like you, just like me. And I speak for all celebrities. I speak for all movie stars, pop stars, anyone in journalism, anyone famous, I speak for you. Could being a celebrity nearly killed me. I wanna help others. I wanna help others and show the respect that we all have for each other. But please remember, when you see a celebrity on telly, They've had it hard, and it ain't easy to be a celebrity. So please lay off the hate, please lay off the hurt, and please stop being jealous. We are just normal human beings. Two eyes, one nose, one mouth. Please treat me like I treat you. Peace, love, unity, respect, shine on. I am Danny Michael Sloggett. I make films that are real forever. And being a celebrity nearly killed me.